Hey folks, Mac T here, and I have a real quick coolant exchange video for you. In other words, if you've got a vehicle and you live in an apartment or an HOA, and they sort of go into any car work there, I got a quick way to change your coolant without them really figuring out what you're doing. And you can get away with it without having to do that drain and make the mess and all this other stuff. It's real simple. It does require a repeat of the process, but I can guarantee you you'll get your coolant changed without getting in trouble most likely. So this is your HOA uh, apartment coolant change without problems. So let's go ahead and see what we're going to do. Now the first thing you got to run out and do is you got to buy one of these things. You can get them about anywhere. It's a little bulb siphon. That's all it is with a long hose on it and a few bucks and it's yours. That's right. Find that and go on Amazon link online. I'll have that on there for you. And you all drink milk, right? Well, milk jug. That's simple. Output, a couple bucks and the coolant. Coolant seal, whatever you buy. Uh, but in this case, you're going to want to use the pre-diluted 50-50 mix because we're just doing a transfer back and forth. We're not doing a, a big change or anything like that. So you want to make sure you have this in and have this. And that's really all you need other than the bottle of your choice of coolant. I use Peak, so that's what I'm going to be using, 50-50 uh, pre-mixed dilution. So let's go ahead and get this change done. Now this is a pretty simple thing. You just undo the cap. Keep in mind you want to do this when it's cold, otherwise you'll get a face full of coolant and that's never good. Then you take the long end, that's right, the long end, and you put it down here into the coolant. Get it down there nice and good. And then on this end you want to take and squeeze the bulb and then it's going to start siphoning the fluid. Now the reason you want to have the bulb end on the short end for the bottle is it makes it easier to siphon the fluid. So you put your thumb on the end right here and then you take it and you put this end right here into the bottle. Now you're going to have it down on the ground so we're going to take and move everything on the ground here. Let me move the camera down so you guys can see what we're doing. Then all you do Put your thumb on the end right here, squeeze it, let it go, it'll start filling up the bulb. Once it fills up the bulb, you just let it go. And you let it drain right into your coolant bottle there. That's right, the milk jug will take care of it. You let it fill up. As you can see, it's filling up. And then once that bottle is empty, once this is empty right here, that's right, once that empties out, then you just cap that one right down there and you add fresh coolant to the bottle. That's as simple as it gets. There we go, we're getting most of it now. It might take a couple of tries, but once you get the knack of it, we pretty much emptied it out as you can see. So we got the coolant pretty much right down to the very bottom. So once that stops running, we can then go ahead. You just lift this end up, hold it up to drain. And once you've drained it out, you have got this much coolant out of here. So this is one quart. Now this holds 11 quarts. So if you do a drain and fill on this, it's going to take four times roughly to fill this up. So uh, you're going to have essentially 13 changes. 13 drains and then refills uh, will eventually change it out to about 88% change. Now you do this 13 times, but the way you do it 13 times is you fill it back up now, you run the car, then the next day after you've ran the vehicle, you then do the same process again, repeating what I just showed you. Take it out and add fresh. Do this every day for about uh, 13 to 14 days and you will have changed out 88% of your coolant without even doing anything but taking this cap off. That's all you have to do. Now all you do is just take your bottle, open it up, 
and you just oh so gently fill it back up to full. This is a pre-diluted uh, mixture here, so you fill it back up until you get to the cold line. Then once you're done with that, you can go ahead, put your cap back on, and you're ready to dry for another day, and then repeat this process. Well, that's it, folks. A real simple change. You can do it standing up, young, old. Anybody can do this coolant change, and you don't need any tools other than that hose. That's it. You siphon it out, and you fill it back up, shut the hood, and you're done. Who's going to be any of the wiser to this? So it's a real simple process. Remember, like, join, subscribe, Mac T Ford Edge on YouTube. Also, don't forget the Facebook group. It is the largest Facebook group concerning the Ford Edge Lincoln MKX. Also, my feet hit the floor, and I'm having a great day. I want you to have a great day. And Band of One's got some great music for you, along with Mercy Girl and a couple of one-liners. Thank you for watching Mac T's videos. Remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Go production.